Have you ever been doing something new? Maybe learning a new skill, maybe thinking about something and then you have like an epiphany, a big aha, and pfft, light bulbs are going off in your brain, or maybe you are doing fascia release. If you're on my channel, I'm assuming maybe that's you. And you get really strangely tired afterwards. Like, whew, like I could totally take a nap right now. A lot of clients, that came to me when I had my private practice, um, not all of them. It was maybe like 40, 60 or 50, 50, it was really split. But, um, but at least half, about half of my clients would get really sleepy after sessions when they were new clients. Um, typically this phenomenon didn't last the entire time they were working with me, but it, it was a very common occurrence with a lot of people in the beginning. So I'm wondering if this is you, and I wanna to explain to you maybe why this is happening. So hey, I'm Alicia from mobilitymastery.com, and this concept of getting sleepy or tired or feeling the instinct to take a nap, even if it's the middle of the day, after engaging in something novel or you know having a big epiphany or maybe you just had a therapy session you had a huge breakthrough um, and then you leave the the session and you just feel it like wiped there's actually a scientific reason i believe for this um, have you heard of neural plasticity so that's really what i want to talk about um, so neural plast plasticity is the brain's ability to change neural loops or neural pathways, even in adulthood. Um, and we can do this when engaging in something novel and really focusing and learning something new, or we can change it by eliminating an old uh, pattern. I call it a nervous system pattern, but it's basically the exact same thing as a neural loop or a neural pathway. Um, so to me, they're the same thing. Um, so when we're talking about neuroplasticity um, or neuroscience, it's really neuroscience is the study of the brain and nervous system. Primarily, really, it's the nervous system, um, but the brain's extension in the body is the nervous system. And um, so this is really why I call it nervous system patterns. I think they kind of live primarily in our body, these pathways, and then that information is relayed, transferred to the brain, um, which then dictates behavior. So when we change neural pathways, um, we can change behavior. So that's maybe a topic for another day. Today, what I wanna focus on is this reason we get really tired and why, if this is happening for you, when you do fascia release, I want you to actually celebrate and, and just kind of know what's happening. Um, when we are kind of erasing or scrubbing out an old neural pathway and replacing it with something new, what's actually happening in, in the brain and nervous system is, uh, Acetylcholine is getting released by a part of the brain um, and it's attaching to the synapse between neurons. And basically what it's doing is lighting up those areas and kind of marking them for the brain to come back to later. Because when we create new neural pathways, um, the process of actually ingraining them or getting them to stick doesn't happen right away. When we're in the event of changing them, it happens actually over the next 24 hours or 48 hours, primarily ingrained through sleep. <laughs> so these are studies being done. I don't have the actual studies for you. I'm learning this information from a man I highly recommend you go follow if you're interested in this subject. His name is Andrew Huberman. So I've been kind of obsessively looking at his Instagram um, channel and watching his videos. I love what he's doing. I also recently watched a video of his on Tom Bilyeu or impact theory. So if this intrigues you, I highly recommend going to follow him. And that's where I'm getting this information. So I'd like to credit him um, for this. Uh, but the reason this happens is we process the change um, rather quickly when we're in REM sleep. Uh, where you know the acetylcholine marked the synapses for the brain to actually lay down 
um, you know, the, whatever it is that has to happen for that new neural pathway to stick, right? Because it's not enough to simply, you know, change behavior once, we have to actually get it to stick. Um, so this is the brain and body's way of actually prompting us by getting sleepy to perhaps put us in a state where that change can become more permanent. So if you happen to get really tired after fast release, I would celebrate because this means that you're actually interrupting an old neural pathway, which we absolutely can do with fast release, and you're creating a new one. And that effect of feeling really sleepy could be your body and brain's way of prompting you to go into a state of REM sleep so that your brain can actually make sure for you that this change lasts. Um, so if you're able to, then you could consider maybe taking a 20 minute nap after doing fascia release. Now, I do wanna, you know, you, you'll, I guess I wanna say like, that's not the end of the world. If you can't, I'm just saying it could be an option to get that to stick faster. So reasons to consider adding this in or making sure you're getting really good sleep if you're getting really tired doing fascia release would be if you know you have neural pathways that you wanna change, if you have old patterns that have been keeping you stuck, if you have trauma in your body that you're trying to move through process fully and create new neural pathways in their place, right? From, you know, replace those old trauma patterns with new empowering non-trauma patterns, then sleep is gonna be critical for getting these changes to stick. Um, so it's just something to think about. And obviously if, if this is simply a surprising byproduct of doing fast release while you're on, in the process of maybe getting out of pain and you don't really have any awareness of nervous system patterns or neural loops keeping you stuck, then maybe you don't need to worry about it. Just keep doing your thing. Um, I would be willing to bet that this experience of feeling tired, you know, while, while doing fascia release or right after um, would diminish, right? So as you change those pathways and they get ingrained, as you continue doing fascia release, you know, you don't, you probably won't have the same response because the path pathway is already there. It's already been kind of ingrained and you don't need to use sleep to make it stick. So I hope this was somewhat interesting because this is a question I get quite a bit in my private practice. Like, is it normal to get this tired? Like, why am I getting so tired? And I've noticed this in my own life. I guess I want to share this before closing out this video. Um, I've actually noticed myself getting extremely tired. Like I want to take a nap um, when maybe I have a significant breakthrough in assessing my own, I don't know, life history or um, I just discovered a pattern of mine that whoosh, I just was like, oh my God, I can't believe like I've been stuck in this pattern and that's the reason this is all happening and whoo, wow, now I know what to do. And suddenly I'm like, oh my God, I'm so tired. Um, or I might be absorbing a lot of really new information say, for example, on neuroplasticity, because I'm not a natural born scientist, believe it or not, like anatomy and physiology were not my strong suit ever um, in life. I didn't memorize hardly a single thing when I was in massage school other than the major bones of the body and a few muscles. Um, but now that I have such a passion for everything I'm doing and it's been deeply personal for me in my own life and my own body and then working with so many clients who I cared deeply about, um, it became personal. So I became emotionally invested in learning about the body, but it's still like really hard information for me to grasp. <laughs> um, so sometimes when I'm studying something like that and it, and it really makes sense and it's landing, I might actually get really tired. Um, so I think it's really cool to have the awareness of this so that we can, instead of, you know, going, God, I'm here I go again, getting the afternoon slumps or why am I so tired? That's so dumb or Ugh, like resisting the tiredness and judging it. Um, like maybe you shouldn't grab the afternoon coffee <laughs> at that moment. Right. But actually like help yourself ingrain that new neural loop, um, by either taking a nap or, um, just recognizing, cool, like I'm going to integrate what just happened tonight in my sleep. My body and brain are going to actually like lay down some new neural pathways. And, um, I get to take that with me 
from now on because it's going to become more permanent and stick for me. So um, I hope this was interesting. Please leave your takeaways below. Let me know if you are one of the people that actually gets tired. Not everybody does. Some people get um, energized from fast release. So that's a totally different response than getting tired. Um, but if you are one of the people that does get tired after doing fast release, again, I would celebrate. Um, let me know in the comments below if that's you. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <music>